Hey folks, how you doing? Welcome to Fervent. <laughs> I hope that's how it's pronounced. Basically, we are going out into the woods. We have some found footage. Hope you guys are doing well. Thank you so much for joining me. Let's get straight into it. All right, ooh, a warning. This tape contains raw footage from the Fervent campsite, Palm City State. The camera with the tape was found near the campsite by a local resident who claims that a paranormal investigator was spotted near that area. The tape contains unexplained phenomenon and chilling evidence of the supernatural activity. Viewer discretion is highly advised. So the footage was recorded by Orion Goodwin. He is missing. All right, then we're just gonna go into it. Why would we wanna get out of the footage? Oh, hi. Just drove my car here. Can I leave? <laughs> All right. All right, March 5th of 2006. Over the past few weeks, there have been a series of unsettling occurrences at the campsite. Strange symbols have been found etched into trees and rocks, and unusual structures resembling obelisks have appeared without explanation. Our efforts to investigate these phenomena have been inconclusive, and the presence of the anomalies has only grown more pronounced. Additionally, several campers have reported experiencing disturbing visions and hearing eerie sounds emanating from the woods at night. These accounts, combined with the discovery of a manic ritual book in one of the abandoned white tents, have raised significant concerns about the safety of the campsite environment. Okay. I mean, I get it. So, May 13th. What does that say? Find the book. Alright, I mean, it's not as easy as you think. Just to find a book. This is a very. Um, so, these are the obelisk, I'm assuming. So, these are very weird campsites. Well, it's kind of cool because it's like encircled, which I guess would give you the false sense of safety because that would be the only entrance is where my car is. Okay. Is that a... Oh, those are just creepy dolls. Okay. I mean, I get it. Dolls play a significant factor. It's like basements, bathrooms, <laughs> children, dolls. So I don't like... Um, what do you call them? Ooh, a pickaxe. Can I get that? I don't like, um, like, people collect those dolls I see them all the time, the ceramic dolls. Ritual to break the curse of the trapped souls. If you are reading this, it means that you have found the pickaxe hidden by us, the survivors. A long time ago, we were part of a group dedicated to bringing peace to this cursed campsite. People kept disappearing and we had to act. During our ceremony, something went wrong and the ritual summoned the fervent ghoul, a human-like creature, which will stop at nothing to get you. Remember to find the book under the rock. A special rock, different from others. Bring the book to the lectern. Afterwards, you must light all the candles near the tents and free the trapped souls. The lighter will appear in front of you. Use it. We believe that is the only way to defeat the ghoul. Okay. So wait, I gotta do like some funky ritual to get a lighter? That's fair. I get it. So a rock that's like no others. Oh, this could take ages. I can't imagine how many rocks are actually around here. They all have green moss so far. Okay, so we're just gonna... You guys are gonna join me on this little adventure of trying to find a rock that is different from all the others. <laughs> I like... First off, I kind of want to start on the outside and... Work my way in. I thought I saw something. Whatever, I'm gonna ignore it. Because it doesn't seem like we're in some form of being chased. And... Right... If you guys can... It's right there. Oh, it's a deer. Oh, here's the... It turned to face me. It's a lectern. Alright, cool. Cool, 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 cool. So... Does it do anything? It's not following me, is it? I mean, it's... I'm really uncomfortable with that thing there. That looks like all the others same. I'm probably going to be here for ages because I can't find a stupid rock. Alright. We'll find it. We will find it. And my... Ooh. That was... I don't... Uh, yeah. Is it by you? You're going to buck me? <laughs> I like the fact that that sounded like an absolute light switch. Just like, okay, bye. <laughs> All right, so we're just back at my car. I haven't seen any rock that looks any different from any of the other ones. Huh. Car looks like a Subaru. It's back here. 
I'm walking home. I'm not. No, here's all the trash. Campsite. Okay, this is pretty much. I can't go any further. Alright, cool. We're gonna find the book. Because we have to. We have to summon a lighter. <laughs> I still can't get over the fact that we're basically going to summon a lighter. It's not like we're going to summon some ancient deity. Well, I'm sure I'm sure we will. Once everything gets started, like once we start lighting candles, I assume that's when the ghoul's just going to pop out and start chasing us and making my life difficult. And I think, if I'm not mistaken, I'm Ryan, correct? Because this is, yeah. I have moments. Leave me alone. Because this is found footage. So... You know. No. No. Why are you standing up? Are you pointing to the rock? Did I just like miss it completely a thousand times over? Useless. It's alright. Oh! Here's the rock. Sweet. Alright. Hopefully I didn't just make you guys watch that entire stupidity of me running in a circle trying to find this freaking rock. Okay. Now, we get to light up. What's going on? Because I can hear. Oh my god, it was right there. Nope. Nope. And you know what's sad? Nope. I don't. No, don't. Please, please, please don't kill me. It took me forever to find this stupid rock. I would not be the person to do this ritual. I would. I don't care. Come on, come on. There you go. You got some sprint juice. I'm gonna work as I did with the stupid rock and got lost. I'm gonna work outside in. I hope you guys can hear that. Let's start with. Yeah. Where is he? Oh, he's he's right there. Oh no! I have to go inside now. <laughs> oh no! He's gonna catch me. He's gonna catch me. Oh crap. Oh crap. <laughs> what was funny is that massive noise that happened. I honestly just assumed I was dead, but I wasn't. But I guess as soon as you get to the sound, he has you, so it really didn't matter. Um, so that's just the end of the footage. <laughs> Made me jump a little bit, but, uh, yeah, that was, that was pretty wild. I think that was, I don't know. You know why? I don't know what I don't know. First off, I thought it was weird that the tents, like, seemed to have all those, like, dolls or, they weren't people, they were dolls, because that's how you get all the spirits to release is lighting the candles. I didn't like that. <laughs> Those dolls were creepy. And the one doll standing up, that was just weird. The the deer out in the woods meant absolutely nothing, but it was still kind of just weird. I wonder, you know what I was just thinking about? I wonder if the deer was facing the way I needed to go to find the rock? No, because he was just following my direction. Okay, cool. And for some reason, maybe when I'm editing, I'll look at it more closely but the monster kind of looked like a dude that was like painted with a skeleton on him and had like a pumpkin head but I was getting very uh quick reaction or quick looks at him so maybe that wasn't it whatsoever but yeah I just wanted to give this a try I saw uh the little bobs and bits on itch.io so I just kind of wanted to try it there is another game that I'll be playing too um uh, it's always in conjunction like this week's going to be a little bit different because I'm not necessarily going to play only horror games and you'll see the next video of course and know what I'm talking about so <laughs> I've blabbed on so so long I am sorry guys thank you very much for joining me I think you can hear toast in the background but thank you so much for joining me 
on this little uh, found footage. I hope you're, I hope you liked it. Leave a comment down below what you thought. Give the video a thumbs up. You know, if you want to see more from this developer, if you would like to see more games like this, I know we've done a couple found footage things. So they're kind of one of my, I have a soft spot for found footage uh, horror games, but thank you so much for being here with me. If you are a returning sub to my channel, thank you so much. Your support truly means everything to me and I love you. And if you are new to my channel and you've made it this far and have listened to me go on and on and on, <laughs> thank you so much. It's been a pleasure to have you here and I would love to see your face again. I hope you'll give the channel a chance and subscribe. I want you to be a part of this. And until next time, guys, please take care of yourselves. Know I love you and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye.